なその度胸を分かってやる。So you had to wait, kid. Show us what you can do. Try this guy then. Game on. We're going for some proper Japanese street racing. Let's show them, guys. Gotcha. Got it. Sure. Why not? Motorfest asked us to show you how it's done, but we don't do free tours here. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. Are you familiar with the Honda you're driving? The MSX isn't your regular street car. It was made back in the 90s to stand neck and neck with the likes of Ferrari and Porsche. You sound just like Shingo. Speaking about Shingo, you know that if a rookie beats us with his NSX, we won't hear the end of it, right? I don't even want to think about giving Shingo the satisfaction. Better focus and win this thing then. By the way, do you know what NSX stands for? New Sports Car Experimental. I wasn't asking you, Hina. Wow, see that awesome canyon on the left? Eyes on the road, Hina. I love that festival mood they set. Feels just like our own traditional festival back home. Yes, to a Kuruma no Atsukai o Kotoro Eteru Rashi. Omoshiroi Janai Ka. Watch out, you're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Can't blame her, the R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. The Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep, Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. That path is perfect to get a taste of the Wangen spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racers. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Bayshore route. With one thing in mind, never slowing down. Rebellion! Newbie wants to take the lead. In a Wangen race, you gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is the skyline we're talking about. These dragons are massive. You got a wish to make? Sharp turn, careful. Keep your driving steady. Reminds me of that time Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up! I remember that. Ren will be happy to know that the Skyline has once again shown its supremacy. Well done.
Why don't we put the whole festival euphoria on hold for a while and get a proper face off? Let me show you what Toge is all about. Pretty badass, but I'm coming back for you. Relax, I've seen what you can do. Daijoubu da. Plus I'll give you some tips on the way. Toge is being able to bounce the brake and gas pedal at every turn. One wrong move and you're out. This technique isn't easy, but when you pull it off, you feel like the greatest driver alive. And the coolest. Tonight your ride is a 3rd gen 2002 Mazda RX-7. Lightweight, compact, a sick rotary engine, and one hell of a look. That's Tanada's car, and she seems pretty confident you can beat me with it. Let's prove her wrong. There's a tunnel coming. It gets tricky at high speed. Make sure you don't lose control. Keep your driving steady. And now, all the way down. That's the best and also the toughest part, so stay sharp. Just a few more laces and this is it. Come on, show me some real toge driving. drifting scene and some of the best drifting spots, of course. Like, the EBC circuit is one of the most famous places in the world for drifting. Designed by drifters, for drifters. Who knows? Maybe Motorfest will get you drifting there someday. How do you feel about my modded RX-7? Tougher yet still elegant? That is my RX-7 2.0 for you. Because Japanese car culture isn't only famous for its drifting history, it also brought modded cars to another level, among many other things. Come on, you're almost done. Push that beauty to its limit! You have my permission!
what you were waiting for when you signed up for the Made in Japan experience. Out of this world, customs owning the city. Hmm. Impressive. Well, you got your wish. Everybody's car is on top of their game, especially your new ride. Toji's Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X. Yeah, Toji's the craziest customizer of us all. He loves his cars, big and mean. The Evo X, or previously known as Concept X and Prototype X, is the final form of the Lancer Evolution series. It's the most technologically advanced Evo ever. Another JDM gem. You're welcome. Toji would say it's the best of them all. Okay, someone's looking for some rough competition. We've got another lap. Hold on. Do you know that the Evo X doesn't have a legit reverse gear? It has two forward gears working together to make the wheels rotate in the opposite way. Cool, huh? And that's how you save on weight. Precisely. What a race! The Motorfest crew knows how to throw a party. Don't get too excited, you're just a host in that fantasy. Watch out. Host can be dangerous, Mrs. Abernathy. Hey, I got that ref. Nerds, both of you. The finish line's just a few seconds away, guys. It's now or never. This was the Mentu Lancer Evo X with a special Toji Custom. And you just showed you're totally worthy of that car. to get. Hold on. or RX-7. And that customization looks flawless. Pretty cool. But remember, nothing beats the R-34. Funny way to pronounce NSX. Shinjuku style, huh? Well, we'll see about that. You gotta admit, it feels just like Tokyo. Well, I guess they did do a pretty good job capturing the vibe of our streets. How come our new buddy didn't get to drive high as MX-5? Fair point! Who knows? Another time, maybe. There's still so much about Japanese racing we didn't touch on. Are we talking, guys, or are we showing our new member who the top dogs are in this pack? Did you get that driver? He said let's punch it! Japan for you, and a great deal of adrenaline for us. Awesome driving. 